Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking liquid text effect using After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new composition and I'm just going to run with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document at 24 frames. And then I'm just going to press OK. Once we've done that, we then need to choose our color scheme. So we can go to a website which is called Color Hunt and this is the one that I've selected. So all I'm going to do is take a screenshot of that and import it into After Effects. Once it's in After Effects, all you need to do is drag it down here so that you can see it. I'm just going to put it in the corner there. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create a new solid and don't worry about the color because we are going to run a gradient ramp on it. So I'm just going to click on the effect gradient ramp and I'm just going to make sure that I can see this and I'm just going to go back to my gradient ramp and just select two colors from my list. So now that I've got the gradient set up, it's in a linear gradient from top to bottom and I think it's pretty nice. The next thing that we need to do is we need to add some text. So I'm just going to click on the T tool, click anywhere on the screen and then write my text. Now the font that I'm using here is Arzo Sand. You can use whichever font that you want. This one works well because it's really nice and thick. If you want to change how close the letters are to each other, you can by you know, pressing on this and then moving that around. So once you're happy with the text, you can then make sure that you make it a little bit bigger by just grabbing one of the handles and holding shift. And then I'm just going to make sure that I align it to the center of my document. So you can do that using the align tools over there. Once you have the text, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a new shape layer. And I'm just using the rectangle tool here. I'm making sure that I've, nothing is selected before doing this. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle over my text. I'm just going to bring that rectangle down and I'm just actually going to lock that layer there. Make sure that the rectangle is over the text and then we need to go back to our effects and presets and search for wave warp. Once we've put wave warp on the rectangle, we just need to change a few of these settings. So the first one, I'm just going to change the wave height to 30. And the second one, I'm going to change the wave width to about 200. Now you can choose any settings that you like, but maybe to start, you can just sample these effects to see what actually happens. So now when I preview that, you can see that we've got a nice wave happening. If you want to change the wave speed, you can, you can do that over here. And obviously the faster that you change this to, the faster the wave will go. But I'm going to keep it at 1.0. So the next thing that you need to do is now we need to start to animate this. So we're going to come over here and we're going to go to about five and I'm just going to press P on my keyboard for position and I'm just going to set a keyframe. And then I'm going to move to the first frame of my uh, timeline and I'm just going to move this down. I'm going to hold shift so it goes directly down. So there's a straight line there. So now once we have that. The next thing that we need to do is we need to come like probably about halfway in between that. So maybe around 2.5 seconds and I'm just going to add another keyframe in there. So now I've got three keyframes and what I want to do is I just want to come over here and grab the handle and just put a slight bend in it. So I'm just going to grab that handle as well. So now you've got this nice curved kind of look. So now if I play that back, you can see that it kind of curves on its way up. So then what I need to do is I need to make sure that I easy ease these keyframes and then I can come over here to my graph editor, make sure that I'm in the speed graph editor. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab and click this handle and bring it up slightly. So I'm going to do the same for both sides. And then once I've done that, I'm going to click from the middle and bring that up slightly. And you can play around with some of these settings, but the final result should look something like this, where it kind of goes up and then it comes down and then it goes back up. So now when we play this back, so it comes up, it kind of hovers a bit and then it goes back up again. So 
you can play around with some of these settings and you can make the animation however you like but for now I'm pretty happy with how it's looking at the moment and I'm going to move on to the next thing. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to make sure we go to our shape layer and we make sure that we put it as an alpha mat. So now you can see that when the liquid text comes up, it comes up with the waves. So now all we have to do is just repeat that process again a few times and then we will have like different kinds of effects that are in there. So if you want to go and change the color of any of those um, waves, you can come over here, you can grab the, uh, the eyedropper tool and I'm just going to start with the darkest one first. And then I'm going to highlight both of those layers, press Ctrl D to uh, duplicate those layers and then what I need to do is I'm just going to shift it forward 10 frames. So I'm going to hold shift and press page down and then I'm going to move these two layers to that section there. And I'm just going to go back in here and I'm just going to change the fill. So I'm going to change this to probably this color. And so now I'm just going to press U to bring up my keyframes. So now that once I've done that, now I've got those two layers bringing in that kind of shape. And so now on this shape layer, what we're going to do is we're going to change some of the settings. So I'm going to increase uh, the wave width to about 250 but I'm just also going to change the direction. Now, you don't want to change it too much because if you bring it all the way to zero, it becomes flat. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring it, you know, roughly around about 70. And this time I'm going to increase the speed. I'm going to bring it up to 1.2. And so now we've got two different waves that are coming in and they both look different. So we're going to do the same thing again and we're going to duplicate those layers. Now we've got three different shape layers and now these two layers we're just going to move forward in time to about one second. So I'm just going to move forward around there and then I'm just going to change the fill of that so, so I can actually see it. I'm just going to change the fill to the lightest color. And in here, I'm going to change this stuff as well. So I'm going to increase the wave width to about 300. And I'm going to increase the height to 35. And I'm going to change the direction to about 120. And this one is going to be 1.4. So now once I have that, I've got three different sets of waves going off. And it creates that cool liquidy kind of effect and that's looking pretty good so the next thing that we need to do is I'm just going to highlight all these layers and I'm going to pre-compose them I'm just gonna press OK then I'm gonna go back inside my layers and I'm just gonna grab one of these layers so I'm just gonna grab the first one and then come back and then just paste it there so I'm just gonna set it to none now what you want to do here is i'm just going to find where i want the end animation to be so when this is coming up so i'll show you what i mean here with the shape layer on top of the our pre-comp i can come over here and go to inverted map and then what will happen now is as soon as that wave text comes up it's actually going to take away from the rest of the shape and so this is going to be our kind of like end animation so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to probably go to about four seconds and then I'm going to let the animation pretty much finish and then as soon as it's just about to finish the new animation will come in and wipe the text away and so we're going to change a few things in here. I'm just going to change the wave width. I'm going to bring it down to, or actually I'm going to bring it up to about 400. And I'm also going to change the speed to 0.5. So we're going to make it a little bit slower. So now when we play back that animation, you can see that there's a much softer wave here and then it kind of eats up the rest of that animation. 
So once you're happy with that, then you can pre-compose that if you want. But that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial. The final thing that you have to do is you just want to um, trim the work area to the end of that animation. So that's probably about 10 seconds. So all you need to do is just right click trim comp to work area and there we have it. So there we have a simple liquid text animation made in After Effects. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and I hope you've learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.